Hey guys, um, this video is going to be a run through of the new Super Dashboard. Uh, we've got a video in the past uh, that we created titled How to Create a Notion Website with Super. It's basically gonna, this is gonna be the same idea, but with our new updated dashboard. Uh, and we're actually gonna run through a few of the new features and start with a template from our Super Marketplace. Um, and here's a great resource if you wanted to get started with a site um, and don't have content to start with. So it's a really easy way to get started. Um, the ones that you see here with a price tag uh, are ones created by uh, some members within our community. And all the free ones are templates created by us. So we're going to actually start with the split template here. And clicking into each of these will give you a nice little uh, demo, live demo of the site. Um, and we're going to duplicate that. And here's some instructions on how to get started with that. So the first thing you wanna do is duplicate the template to your own Notion workspace, and that's gonna take care of the content side. And then you'll wanna create a super site, which we'll go through together, and then paste in the uh, style sheets, which will take care of all the styling. And then there's some optional uh, style settings as well. So we're gonna duplicate that to our own workspace. Perfect. So I'm going to create a uh, test website for an old uh, digital product studio that I used to run. And in my Notion uh, workspace, I already actually have a sites folder. And this is where I put all my websites. So I'll just drag that into the sites folder. And I'll open that. And then from here is where I'll turn on sharing and then grab the public Notion URL, which I'll then port into Super. Copy that. In the super dashboard, we'll create a new site. We'll give this a uh, random site name, uh, untitled split, paste that in, create the site. And then a site is basically created based off that Notion page, and I can actually visit it here. But as you can see, it's all gonna be unstyled. It doesn't look like that same um, split template that we viewed earlier. So I'm gonna run through a few things within this dashboard here. The first thing you'll notice is the live preview on the right side of the screen. And this is mainly used to um, visualize the changes that you're making in your dashboard without having to open a new tab and refresh uh, it's much more intuitive to uh, to see these changes happen. You could also test out how your how your uh, site looks on mobile and expand it to full screen if needed. The details page um, is where you can update your site name, which is what will show up uh, on your super super dashboard, and it's also used as your main page title for SEO purposes. Um, and this is where you could also change your Notion page URL if needed. The domains page is where you can add a custom domain. So for now, um, every site that you create with Super is assigned a super.site domain. And you could also change this. If I wanted to change it to something else, uh, it'll update live. Um, but if I want to add a custom domain, uh, I can do so here. So if, if you want to uh, brand your website with your own domain, you can use a subdomain here or a root domain. Now our pages is where we can visualize all the sub pages we have on our site and add per page code and SEO settings and even password protection if necessary. So adding a new page here basically just means we are creating a new page not on Notion itself, but uh, on Super that we can assign a pretty URL to. Now, if you have sync URLs turned on, we'll actually create uh, new pages for you automatically based on your page titles. So to visualize this, I'm gonna add a page here. Just call it something for now. Um, just, we're gonna change this. While we're at it, we're actually just going to uh, change up a few things here. So this we're gonna call Untitled. saved a little bit here to copy and paste and 
these links we could leave for now, but this is where you could put in some projects. You can basically do whatever you want here um, within Notion. So we'll save that. I'll actually keep this as untitled as well. So if I go back to, we'll close a few of these out. If I go back to here, um, it might take a few seconds for it to update, but you can see in the pro in the preview, the update has already gone through. So in the pages page, you should also see the page that we created in Notion. So this um, URL was assigned automatically through our page title. So if we name this something else, the URL would be changed depending on that. And here's where we could add uh, SEO code or password protection. And we can do that per page or uh, to our entire site, depending on if you add it to the home page. So if we password protect our entire site, um, basically nothing will be um, accessible uh, until you enter your password. And you can do that for individual pages as well, which is very powerful. SEO settings. A lot of these are uh, taken automatically as well via the page cover in Notion. So options is where we can toggle a few things um, related to uh, our site. So our site language, if we have a different language, this will ch change the um, HTML language tag in the head of your site. So it will be better supported for other languages if your site is not in English. We'll also add right to left support for certain languages. So if we search for Hebrew, for instance, you can see that uh, right to left support is live in the preview. Um, and although it's not perfect yet, it works for most cases. And we'll change that back to English. Your favicon is what will live um, in your browser tab icon here. You could upload a PNG or a JPEG for that. Search engine indexing, you'll most likely want to leave enabled. Um, that will allow search engines to be able to crawl your website. Page properties um, are from databases. And if you want to hide or show those on your site, you can enable or disable that. I like to disable those just because I feel like I, I personally use properties for internal use mostly um, as a way of sorting or filtering through databases, uh, database views. But uh, if you want to enable those, you can as well. And site search will enable a search icon in the top right of your site, um, which will allow users or visitors to your site to search through the pages uh, throughout your site. And uh, right now we only search through actual pages, not the content within them, but we'll be uh, updating that very soon as well. Leave that disabled, save that. And the code is where we can inject code um, into your site, either in the head tag, in the body tag, or as uh, CSS code. And this is where we'll actually grab the template code that was used for the split template and paste that into here. So we'll open that split template here. We'll grab this and we'll paste that into the head tag here. And you can see right away that the style is updated um, right away. And you can also add some optional settings. Like if you want a flipped layout, um, you could paste that right underneath. And your cover image will appear on the right and then your content will appear on the, on the left. And if you want to apply a dark mode as well, we support that as well. Um, and these are all uh, dependent on the templates. So different templates will have different optional settings. So uh, you should base all of that on, on the uh, demo of the template that you're uh, integrating yourself for your own site. So we're gonna keep the dark layout, but we're gonna comment this split uh, alternative layout. So we're gonna keep the image on the left and the content on the right, but we're gonna leave it dark and we're gonna save that. And in Notion, I'm actually also going to um, replace this cover image. And that's it. We're going to keep the content editing to a minimum and focus on the dashboard itself for this. 
Um, I should also mention if you were to uh, comment out all of the code. So if you start from a blank slate and you go back to the theme, um, you can actually change the color theme without coding or adding any CSS at all. And we're going to be adding more themes here and more uh, customizations that you can do without needing to know any code at all. So for now, we're going to leave that to the default. Um, you could also uh, preview any font changes. Um, and we're going to leave that to enter, which is our default font. So I'm going to go back to the code, uncomment that out, except for the flip layout. I'm going to save that. And if I update this, um, let me make sure I saved in here, although it should be automatic, but the cover photo should update. There it is. The content uh, updated as well. And if I visit this in a new browser and refresh, you could see that the changes have come through as well. Um, and this was actually, we used the block ID to hide this uh, just because we didn't want to hide all the toggles on your site. But if you wanted to hide this, I'll just give you a quick run through of how to do this in the CSS if needed. Um, and this is how basically how we go about creating templates as well. So you can right click on an element, hit inspect, and you can see the class associated to each element. And we assign these classes um, so that to almost every Notion block so that it's easy to target um, in the code. So you can see that the class is Notion toggle here. So if I wanted to hide that, all I would have to do here is Notion toggle, open curly braces, and you can see it update automatically there. So display, none, and you can see that it's hidden there. I could save that, and then that block would be hidden. Um, and again, we're planning to add a whole bunch of uh, features related to customizing your site without uh, knowing how to code. So you'll be able to do a lot of these things within your options page. And so close this guy. If I refresh a couple times, Sometimes you'll also have to use important just because if you want to override certain styles, uh, that's important to use. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. You can see it update there. Um, you can see the template has come through. Any content changes made in Notion will come through within a few seconds. And then that's basically it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And I'm happy to answer anything. You can also visit us on Twitter, where we're very active. And we also have um, a community space where our members often ask uh, specific questions. Um, there's also a code channel where you can ask questions related to code. And a lot of our members uh, do answer those as well. So yeah, let me know uh, what else you'd like to see and take care.